storia di orrore, una storia di lealtà nei confronti del principe e dei portanti del suo popolo, una storia d'amore. Che cos'è per te Dracula? Che cosa ha rappresentato sempre per te sin da bambino? Well, it's interesting. Up until the point of this script, I always thought of him as the old Dracula, the old character, this, this uh, creature that has lived for centuries alone in a castle in, uh, in Transylvania. What I hadn't really thought about was how he became that person. And what was uh, wonderful about this story is that it's telling this incredible journey of the man, this historical figure. And like you said, it was a, a story of a man who was a, a warrior prince of a, of a country, a loving father and a, a loving husband and a fighter for his people. You know, he, he, he was their leader. And um, so there's a lot of different uh, emotions in, involved in this character. And um, I think what people will get from this film is that they will see a lot more light and shade to this sinister creature that we all know from Bram Stoker's story. But, you know, in, in this story, it's the origin story. So you get to see the real... A man who is almost like an anti-hero, you know, he's, he's, he's fighting for what's good, even though he chooses very dark things. Eh, questo è il primo passo di Universal nel riproporre appunto i mostri classici. Cosa dobbiamo aspettarci da una sequenziale appunto sequel e chi dovremo mai combattere al fianco di la mummia, il buono lupo? Cosa ti aspetti, cosa vorresti fare? Who knows? Who knows? Um, I would be very happy to come back as Dracula. And uh, if this movie is a success, as we hope it will be, um, the, the potential for where this character can go and where he might and who he might meet or fight or whatever is enormous. And I think we're all very aware of that. And so it's a very exciting moment in the, this creation of, the, of Dracula, which is Universal's oldest and first monster. Um, so it's a very good place to start what potentially might be a very interesting journey for not just Dracula, but the other monsters in the, the Universal family. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, I certainly wouldn't say no straight away. I mean, it would be interesting to see what, the, what might happen. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I, it'd be very interesting. I mean, if the script was good and the role was interesting and it's not just about a superhero, but it's about, a, you know, it's somebody who has flaws and, you know, I, I think heroes are only interesting if they have, if they have failure in their life, if they have flaws in their character. They can't always be the complete hero. You have to see the dark side of their character. So if, the, if a superhero came along that was like that, then maybe I'd be interested. But um, I, don't, uh, I don't know what one I'd like to play. Um, there's a lot of them, so who knows?